Let's take a look at the all-new Simple Steps from AdvancedT-Shirts.com, developed specifically for CorelDRAW X6, however still fully functional in CorelDRAW X3, X4, and X5. Before we do anything with Simple Steps, we want to change some settings in CorelDRAW X5 and X6. We want to go to Tools, we want to go to Color Management, and we want to go to Default Settings. Here we're going to go to Presets, which would be set to North American Standard General Purpose, here by default, but we want to change that to simulated color management off and select OK. If you do not make this adjustment, Simple Steps will not do its conversions correctly, so it's very important that we set up our presets in our default color management properly before we start working with Simple Steps. We only need to do that in CorelDRAW X5 and X6. Now, what I have set up on the screen here is a very complex Camaro design and it's comprised of thousands of vector objects. Let's go ahead and select everything here and we'll see what we're dealing with. You can see we've got 2,815 objects. Now if I needed to bring this down in colors or try to analyze what's going on with my colors, of course I could create a palette in Corel Draw. But we've got some special palettes and simple steps that are uniquely designed for screen printers who are going to be working with limited spot color palettes and really when you're working in screen printing, the majority of the work that you do is with two, three, four spot colors, sometimes five, six. For the bigger shops with the autos or the bigger manuals, you might get up into eight, nine, ten. Either way, Simple Steps has been developed not like your high end separators in Photoshop for simulated process. It's been set up to work with spot colors and limited color palettes, which is 95% of the work we do with small screen printing shops or medium sized screen printing shops. I'm going to go to Advanced Tools and I'm going to click on Simple Steps 2. That will bring that up. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to go to color management and I want to analyze what's going on with this graphic. I'll come up here and click on create selection palette and I'll be able to very quickly see that I've got 15 colors and 30 tints and what I want to do is I want to bring this down to three colors that I can print on a white garment. Of course I'm going to do my white conversion but I won't use my white when I print on a white garment. I'm going to click on Show Color Name so I can do some more analysis relating to what I've got going on in this graphic. I can see I've got some CMYK black here, I've got RGB black, I've got different blacks, different reds, different Pantones. And so often when we get art from different sources coming out of Illustrator, coming out of clip art packages, we have many different types of art or color in our graphics. And we really need to bring those into Pantone spot colors and draw so we can separate them and manage them. Now if I wanted to bring this down to four spot colors, manually with all of these different objects ungrouped, I'd have quite a bit of work to do. I'd have to really kind of finagle and use some finesse to get through all these objects and change everything. But in Simple Steps, this is going to be simplified to a few clicks. I'm going to come up here and click on a black because we know we're going to need a black. I'll scroll down here and I'll also grab a red, a white, and a yellow. Now I'm not going to use the white because I'm going to print on a white garment, but I'm going to want the white in my graphic. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on one click conversion. And what Simple Steps is doing is it's processing its way through these thousands of objects, changing the colors. It's also doing color, co color matching based on tints of spot colors. And that's one of the unique things about color management in Simple Steps. We do color matching and color replacement based on tints of spot colors. In other words, we work with a limited color palette to create a spectrum of colors and replace and match colors based on tints. And if you're interested in learning more about tints and our tinted palettes, which we generate quite frequently with Simple Steps, you can check that out at advancedtshirts.com in the training series for Simple Steps. The training series from 1.0 applies to everything here in version 2.02 with the exception of the fact that we now support all black output. Go ahead and select OK. And you can see there literally in a matter of seconds we've gone from 15 colors down to four spot colors and we've got a perfect match here with our graphic as you can see right there. Now this design is set up on a 13 by 19 output which is the same as you'd see in your inkjet. So I'm going to go here to separation options. And you can see down here we have print black print output options new feature in 2.0 and actually right here if we click on all black we'll be able to generate halftone separations from simple steps that will print out to our continuous ink systems or our ink cartridges if they've all been set up as black. And what we do here really is we set up where we've got CMYK cartridges in our printers. We actually put black where we'd have cyan, or black where we'd have magenta, and black where we'd have yellow. And then we output 
black through all of those cartridges, giving us the darkest possible dots for a halftone color separations. Now I know that there's some information in the market that you need to have this rip and that rip and the other rip, but the fact is we have hundreds, probably thousands of clients printing halftones successfully with simple steps. A very good entry point for getting into halftone printing with your t-shirt graphics. And we'll see just how well these work here in this particular session. I'm going to go up here and select my conversion. I'm going to go to halftones. The default is set to 1440. I'm going to change that to 1200. I'm going to go with a 55 line inch. Let's say it's going to be a little bit of a more of a high-end job because you've got a really nice car and some nice flames and graphics and effects going on here. So then I'm set to half tones. Next thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and click on generate separations. Now this is a very complex graphic. It'll take simple steps a few minutes to generate the half tones and rip to raster. And when rip really refers to raster image processing. And that's what simple steps is going to do here. It's going to rip this graphic into color separations and half tones or raster image process it. I'm going to go ahead and click on generate separations. I'm going to get a couple of warnings here. I'm going to select OK here. And we're going to let Simple Steps rip our separations into halftones. Once Simple Steps has finished processing our halftones, we'll actually have a live halftone preview directly in Corel Draw. Now, because these files are set up as halftone monochrome bitmaps, they don't render very well in the CorelDRAW application, but these are very nice halftones that you can use very effectively. And we do have hundreds, possibly even thousands of shops using these halftones as opposed to spending $500, $1,000, or $1,500 on a rip. And if you're just getting into halftone printing, then we've got a variable affordable solution with, for you that also has all of this color management capability that you're not going to find anywhere else. First page we got separated here is actually our Pantone Trans White. Because we're going to be printing on a white garment, we won't need that. So I just come down here to the actual Pantone Trans White page, and I can see that right here. Just right-click and select Delete Page. Here we have our hexachrome black. Go ahead and zoom in here and take a look at that. And you can see that we've got all of our dots set up here already for us directly in Corel Draw. And these dots will burn very nicely. We'll also take a look at, and I'll go ahead and move this here. Let's take a look at how this is set up. This is set up as a 100% C, 100% M, 100% Y, and 100% K. Well, what does that mean? That means when you output these halftone monochrome bitmaps to your inkjet film printer, you're going to have 100% black usage in all of your channels. If you've put in a continuous ink system and put black in your magenta, yellow, and cayenne, you're going to get a very thick, dark laydown of ink working with this all black support from Simple Steps. You're going to get very dark dots that you'll be able to burn your screens very effectively with. Also with Simple Steps, and I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here, we can get a very nice preview of how our graphic is going to look before we output it. That way we aren't going to be wasting any films. We'll also get a better preview of what our design is going to look like, and we can even send halftone comps to our clients if we want to take the time to do that. Go back here and we'll look at this Pantone 1788. I believe this would be our red. And then we've got the Pantone here, which is our yellow. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and take this yellow. I'll just hit Control C, go back to my Pantone hexachrome black, and I'll hit Control V to paste. I'll come up here into my color palette, and I'll left click to knock out my background color, make that transparent. We'll right click here on the yellow to have that yellow show up. And there's my yellow. Now I can come back here to the Pantone right here, which is my red, the 1788. Hit Control C on that. Go back to my Pantone black. Hit Control V. Left click to knock out my black background color. Right click to change my foreground color. Now here I've got pretty much a live halftone preview of what my print is going to look like on my garment. Now if I want to take this and see what it's really going to look like compared to my actual graphic. I can just go ahead and select everything. I'll hit copy here. I'll go back to page one where my original is saved. Go ahead and paste this in. And while I've got that all selected, I'm just going to go to bitmaps. I'm going to select convert to bitmap. I'll go at 150 DPI and I'll select RGB. I'm not going to want a transparent background. Anti-aliasing is OK, and I'll select OK, and let's process this into a live halftone preview. Now, we know that some of the companies selling the bigger rips are saying that you, know, you can't use bitmapped 
half tones. But the fact is, is that even those rips are converting those images to bitmaps before they output them to your inkjets as color separations. And we can see just how accurate our half tone conversion was here. Here we are at 55 LPI. Here's the original. Now, if I wanted to set this up so I could send it to a client, I could have converted it with a transparent background. We'll go to bitmaps and we'll just give this a slight blur. Gaussian blur. I'm going to give it one pixel just to take the hard edge off of the graphic and the, and the pixels and the dots. And now we can see, looking at these side by side, just how accurate our halftone conversion was. We can also see that this is a pr pretty much approximately exactly what our design is going to look like on an actual t-shirt. And we can't get these previews with the rips that you pay all the money for, but we can get these with simple steps. Go ahead and delete this as we're done with it. And we'll take a look at a few more things here. If we want to do some color management with simple steps, we can do some very powerful things. If I want to do some color swapping with this graphic, let's say I want to swap out the red and yellow flames for, let's say, a rock star blue type frame. Well, very easy to do. I'll come over here, click on Create Selection Palette just to make sure I've got the right colors. I can very easily come up here into, let's take a look at our red. I could do a color replacement on that. Come down here and go select both fills and outlines, preserve tints, go to replace, come here into my palettes. I want to go into spot colors. I want to go into Pantone, Pantone Plus. I'll go to solid coated. Come in here into the darker blues. And I want a nice vibrant dark blue for the background here, which is going to be behind my lighter blue, which I'm going to replace with the yellow, actually replace the yellow with a lighter blue on top of that. Go with something like this here and we'll select OK. Now instead of me having to click my way through my graphic, find those objects and change the colors, Simple Steps did it for me automatically. Same with the yellow here. Come down here, click on Replace. I want to go with something that's a little bit like a sky blue, maybe a little more vibrant, something like here. Select OK. And I've got my color replacement set and I've got a different looking graphic. And I was able to do it without going through clicking on objects and trying to select everything. And I've got everything I need available to continue with my color management here. And here we can see the design set up with a blue looking flame. So it makes it very easy for us to create different color combinations and scenarios for our clients and set up comps and get those out to our clients. Take a look at selection here. Let's say we want to select specific objects based on color in this graphic. Well, we've got all these graphics that are down here. I'm going to go ahead and click on ungroup here. And we've got all these graphics down here that are filled with, I'm going to hold down Alt and get one of these smaller objects. These are actually filled with a 75% Pantone hexachrome black. Well, if I wanted to select all of those for some reason in my design, I'd have to go through and do a lot of different things. But with simple steps, I need to select my graphic, come down here to a Pantone hexachrome black at 75%, which is right here. You can come up here and select profile, current selection, and I want to select both fills and outlines, click on select objects, and I've now selected 964 objects with that color. So we can see the power that we have with simple steps relating to color management, selecting colors, changing colors, converting, color matching with the one-click conversion, and of course our separations, and we even have automated generated white bases with auto choking as long as you're going with untinted. So go ahead and wrap here. This is a preview of our new Simple Steps 2.0 from AdvancedT-Shirts.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.